Hi, Rafael. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine also. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. How has this weather been treating you? Oh, my God. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all frozen. <laughs> Especially in the morning, I think the morning's the worst. You yeah. Have to up and it's you know. It's well, actually, I think today in the afternoon it started to be like that. In fact, at least here, I don't know that. Where Where is it that you live, Rafael? Sorry. Where do you live? In Salco. I live in Salco. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. No, in San Salvador, it all night it was horrible the the, the oh winds uh, especially in the early hours of the morning uh, i think somewhere like three four in the morning it was super windy super windy um i was i was telling the other class that um my bedroom uh it's on the second floor okay and there's like a hall there's a hall at in the um in the second floor and then it goes down with the, the stairs go down to the side to the first floor and what happens is that my bedroom door is directly um like it has it has a, a small roof but yeah. the wind comes directly at it right okay so my the wind even opened my door it was so windy that it opened my door so um, I was, I had to get up in the middle of the night and close the door. And so I didn't really sleep very well. <laughs> it was very, really, really windy and cold. Yeah. But I like when the weather is like that because you, when you go to sleep, it's, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Except that with, uh, when you have um, some like, um, you know, medical problems it's not the best yeah. for example yeah. i i i suffer um from fibromyalgia so uh, the this weather is not good for me it's um yeah. it makes me, me it, you know it gives me a lot of pain so <laughs> i i like it but i don't <laughs> yeah, i also get uh, a flu but... yeah yeah it's, it's it's easier to get sick in this weather as well, yeah, it's true. But anyways, here we are. <laughs> yeah, hi guys, hi Delmi, hi Dennis. Oh, Dennis is still connected. Hello. Hi, hi Delmi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Good, good. We're just talking about this weather. What do you think, Delmi, do you like the weather? Yes, I really like it. <laughs> really, okay. Yeah, I enjoy Where this kind of weather. Ah, okay. Uh, where do you live, Delmi? I live in Metapan, but sometimes I stay in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I'm in Metapan. Yesterday, I was in Santa Ana. <laughs> mm. And is the weather cooler in Metapan or hotter in Metapan? Usually, it's hotter than oh. Santa Ana. Yeah. But now, it's kind of yeah. the same <laughs> yeah i know but at night most at all at night. Yeah. Yeah. oh dennis left i think maybe he was having connection problems okay Raphael, um just a question were you able to um did you get a a a, res uh, a response back for the the exam or no not yet in fact i i made the exam in the morning uh -huh. and but they haven't responded me yet. I imagine okay. they are going to respond after. Yeah. I don't know exactly when they're going to uh, respond, but they did tell me that they were going to be, uh, you know, they, they were going to make sure that they checked. They they even asked for your your complete name. That's why I asked you for your complete name. Yeah. In fact, I received a mes a message in the the mail mm -hmm. uh, that said that. They had received my my score. Oh, okay. Nine ten. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, you should be receiving then soon the the um, an answer. Okay. So yeah, hopefully it's something favorable. 
let's let's hope yeah okay hi alejandra hi teacher how are you good how are you good thanks good excellent okay okay well guys um we are going to begin um we have we don't have very many people but i guess it's also has to do with the weather uh lots of people are having connection problems i'm having also some um i've had a little bit of difficulties today so i totally understand sometimes that you know with this weather it's it's not very favorable with internet connections so uh we'll just have to start the class and hopefully the others can join us as time goes by oh yeah we're already having a little bit more people joining us okay guys so um it, so what we're going to do right now we're going to start talking a little bit about noun phrases do you guys understand what is a noun phrase anybody can tell me what a noun phrase is or what do you understand is a noun phrase maybe i know them but <laughs> the name uh but I don't remember well in this moment. Okay, okay, not a problem. What about the others? Do you have an idea what a noun, a noun phrase is? Or, or, or guess, like, I mean, even if you, you're like, oh, I'm not too sure, but do you have a guess of what it is? Mm, I don't know, maybe the noun, uh, the, like the the sentence that contains the the main noun about the sentence he's talking about okay okay all right well before we we understand what we before we start talking about noun phrases and by the way thank you for a lot of those opinions before we start talking about noun phrases let's talk about what is a noun okay we have to understand first of all what is a noun to be able to understand what is a noun phrase Okay, so let's talk about what is a noun. What do you understand by a noun? Somebody asked you, what is a noun? A noun could be a person, things, or something like that, I imagine. Yeah, exactly. Animals too. Yeah. Animals too, correct. So basically we can have a, a person, an uh, animal, a place um, or a thing okay so one of those okay so yeah. it could be one of those four things a place an animal no, sorry a person and an animal a place or a thing okay um now it, once you understand that then it will be a little bit easier to understand what a noun phrase is what is a noun phrase uh well for now let's talk about what is a phrase what do you understand what a, with a phrase something to express uh i think okay okay good okay let's say to make this a little bit easier um Let, to me, yeah, to make this a little bit easier, let me um, let me tell you, like for example, okay, basically a noun, uh, well, let, let's say a clause. In a clause, you always have a subject and the, and the verb, okay? Yeah. But in the case of a, a, a phrase or, uh, or an, a noun phrase, it's actually, uh, uh, or yeah, just a phrase. It, it just, it doesn't contain uh, a subject and a verb. It just contains part of the complete sentence. So it's not a complete idea. Does that make sense? For example? Okay. For example, um, a phrase could be Something like um, tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay, tomorrow in the afternoon. 
tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay, so does that contain a verb? No. No, it doesn't, but it contains a subject, right? Yeah. So, but, so it's not a complete idea in itself. I can't just say tomorrow in the afternoon. It doesn't really make sense if I just say tomorrow in the afternoon. So in order for it to, um, so basically a phrase is not complete. That's the idea here. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Class? Does that make yes. sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Or even, for example, if I say to you, um, um, standing by the door, standing by the door. Does that, it, does it have a verb? Mm. Standing. Yeah, standing no, by the door. No, in this case, standing is, okay. Yes or no? In, does that have, does that have a verb? Standing in this case is a, well. I think that is standing in this case is like a subject. Yeah. Okay. Like an okay, in this case, we do have a verb, and it's the verb is standing, right? Standing where? By the door. Okay. But do we have a subject? No. No, we don't, right? So again, it's incomplete. No. Okay, it's incomplete. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about um, a when I'm talking about um, a, the, a, a phrase, I'm talking about something that is incomplete. It either has a subject or it has the verb, but it doesn't have the two things. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so what is a noun clause? Let's talk about what a noun clause is. To understand this better, I'm going to show you a slide. And let me know when you can see the slide. No. Yeah, you can see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 it's true. Okay, it. I'm just gonna make this a little bit yes. bigger. No, a bit big. Okay, I think it's perfect. Okay, good. All right, so we have uh, the noun clauses here. So what is a noun clause? If I say to you the sentence, the burrito made me sick. What is, what is the thing that made you sick? What is the thing that made you say? The burrito. The burrito, exactly. The answer is right there, right? The burrito. Okay. So we know exactly the thing that made you sick, right? Yeah. But if I say to you, what I had for breakfast made me sick, then the question is, what is the thing that made me sick? What is the subject? What is the thing that made me sick? Well, is the answer I? Am I the one who made myself sick? No. no. No, it's not that because it doesn't make sense. I can't make myself sick, right? And when we're talking about sick, we're right. talking about like, like vomiting, for example, right? Now, is it, in this case, the breakfast? Is the breakfast the thing that made you sick? No, it's not exactly the breakfast. So what is the thing that made you sick? What I had for breakfast. Exactly. The answer is what I had for breakfast, which is what you find here. Okay. What I had for breakfast, that is the thing that made you sick or made me sick. Okay. So all of this is a noun phrase or a noun clause. Okay, this is a noun clause. Okay. 
So we know exactly. So if you notice here, this is a little bit um, long, okay? So we know that the, there's a something, there is something that made you sick and that thing is not just, you know, it's not just the burrito, it's what I had for breakfast, which can include the burrito. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah? So in other words, yeah. uh, so noun clauses um, are basically long parts of a subject. So it's not just one word, it's not two words, it's a, much longer than that. In this case, notice that's what I had for breakfast. So this, but however, in this one, if you notice, this is not a noun phrase because this one tells me it has a subject and it has a, and it has a, uh, a verb. So it's a noun clause. But today we're gonna to be talking about noun phrases, okay? But I just wanted to show you this so you had an idea of what a noun clause is and that would help you to understand what a noun phrase is. So I'm gonna stop sharing that for a moment. And now I'm gonna to go to the whiteboard so I can explain this a little bit further, okay? Um, okay, so everybody can see my whiteboard? Let me know if you can't see it. No, yet. No, it's not yet. Yeah, you uh, can you know? uh, no, no, yes, no, we can see right, right now, yes. Okay. Oh. Oops, let's change the color. Let's uh, make it to... Um, ah, sorry. Uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't get the, the capital letter there. Okay, so now phrase, phrases containing um relative clauses okay now you guys we have learned about relative clauses remember relative clauses have um that uh as a relative pronoun we can also use um who for um the so what's it called um, for people, uh, which for a thing, okay? Now, um, yeah. okay, so um, let's see, we have, um, okay. So basically there are two, two types of noun phrases containing relative clauses. Um, and the first one we're going to talk about is when we have a noun phrase as a not as a subject. Okay, so as a sorry, yeah, as a subject. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to underline it here so we get it. All right. Okay, over here as a subject. Okay, um, so. Uh, I'm going to first teach you the structure um, that we use when we are talking about a noun phrase containing relative clause as a subject. In that case, it's um, we have the subject. We start with the subject. Okay. I'm actually going to take away this. Okay, I'm going to take away. There we go. That's better. Okay, so um, we have the subject, and then we have a, the relative clause. Okay. Oops, the relative clause. And after that, we have a, the verb to be. And finally, after that, we have an object. Okay. Um, okay. There you go. I'm oh, sorry. Object, not objective. Let me let me change that. Okay. Okay. 
Um, okay. So, um, okay. So, can you, can everybody see that? Yes. I'm going to put it in um, in a in a box so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, So example, um, an example where this would be, for example, um, a one, let's, let's take the weather, this weather, for example, okay. One thing that I like about this, weather is that um, that um, it, that I can no but it's like, one thing that I like about this weather is um, sleeping sleeping um, no no let me see one thing I like about this weather is sleeping uh, sleeping without without um, a fan <laughs> okay sounds like that okay so here we have one thing that I like about this weather is sleeping without a fan so let's let's actually see where we have here the sentence okay. All right, so we have here one thing that, okay, so the, the subject, the first thing that we, we would be um, talking about here, the, um, let me see. Okay, so the first thing here, no, let me, sorry. I'm gonna change that. Um, okay, so here we're gonna have the subject, one thing. Right. Just, uh, just give me a, a second, guys. Just give me one second. Okay, so um, here we have the subject is one thing. I'm going to also in, okay, circle there. And then we have the relative clause. In this case, the relative clause, oh, let's put it in a circle as well. Um, okay, is this one right here? that I like about this weather, okay? That I like about this weather. Right there is the relative clause. I notice I even put the word that in parentheses. okay? I put that in parentheses because if you remember about the relative clause, the word that is sometimes, um, is sometimes a, a, um, an option, okay? So you don't have to put the word that. I could say one thing I like about this weather. You don't have to say one thing that I like about this weather, okay? The other thing is we use the verb to be, okay? And in the verb to be, I'm gonna change the color so you can see it a little better here. Um, let me use the yellow, okay? So the verb to be 
is after. And in this case, the verb to be here is the word is. Okay. And then we have the object, right? And the object in this case, let me change the color. And make this learn the object. Okay, in this case, the object is sleeping. Okay, and this would be the, the complement, right? You can put a complement if you want. Okay, um, I'm going to change that. This would be the complement. Okay. Um, where? Comment. Okay. Um, there you go. Okay. All right. So does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this would be the noun phrase when we have as a subject. Okay. This is as a subject. Let me actually make this a little bit nicer or better. So not nicer, but a little more, um, a little more obvious, let's say, so that you understand that that's what I'm talking about. This is only with the subject. Um, noun phrases contain relative clauses as a subject. Um, where is it? Okay, here it is. I'm going to make this a nice color here. Let's make it. Well, let's. No, that's not it. Now there it is. Now it's just, okay, there we go. That is what I wanted. Okay, so this is, is as a subject. That's what we're talking about here. Okay. All right, so we're, this is something that we're always going to do. Just to give you another idea, just to make sure that you do understand what I'm talking about, is I'll give you, okay, I'll give you another sentence. Um, um you can say a an activity that i like to do um with my family is um uh we could say is hiking Um, on weekends. Okay, so this is another example. Um, so to make sure you guys understand this, I will I will also circle it. Um, so in this sentence, we have the subject is an activity. So let's change that to, I think, yeah. So we have an activity is the subject. Then we have um, the word, the, the relative clause, which would be that I like to do with my family. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this. I'm actually going to say, I'm going to change it to instead of saying an activity, let's see if we can. Okay, I'm going to say, uh, the activity, let's make it plural, that I would like to do with my family are, um, are a hiking, hiking, and um, trucking. 
picking and tricking on weekends. Okay. Yeah, the activities that I okay here. Okay, so in that case, um, sorry, you had a question. What is tricking? Oh, what is trekking? Uh, trekking is it's very similar to hiking. It's just that trekking is more like in um, in a flat surface, whereas hiking is like going up the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's pretty much the same idea. Hiking and trekking, same idea. It's just the hiking is like going up, and trekking is on a flat ground. Okay. okay? Um, okay, so then we have the activities that I like to do with my family. And then in this case, again, we need to have a, the verb to be, but because here we're talking about activities, which are plural, now we're going to be making um, the, we're going to be making um, the verb to be in plural as well. So we have are. Okay, so activities I like to do with my family are, and then we have the uh the object and the object would be hiking and trekking okay hiking and trekking and then we have the complement which is over here on the weekends okay so far so good does this make sense guys yes yeah. 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 Any questions? Teacher. No. Yeah. What is the difference between noun phrases and verb phrases? What's the difference between a noun phrase and a verb phrase? Yes. Um, precisely that a for example in this case, um the noun phrase, well, if you notice, this is one thing is a noun. Okay. And activities is a noun. So that's why all of this is called the noun phrase. Okay. All this part here is the noun phrase. Whereas uh, um, a verb phrase would be, um, would be with, uh, with a verb, right? So for example, um, this would be a verb phrase. Hiking and trekking on, no, no, sorry, no, no, that would not be a phrase because hiking and trekking would be nouns. Um, we could say, for example, um, the girl, okay, uh, let me see. Um, let me think of something. Uh, let me think, let me think. Um, for example, if I say, okay. sorry? You can answer tomorrow, don't worry. And, and so that you can um, explain it better if you want. Oh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. Um, okay. To give you an example, um, let's say that in, in the sentence, for example, um, a, We can say, I'm thinking of a good example to make it a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, you can say, for example, uh, they were um, singing at the top of their lungs they were singing at the top of their lungs. So singing at the top of their lungs, it, mm -hmm. that part there is a, a, a verb phrase, okay? So um, because it's not that the, they weren't just singing, right? You're, there, you're explaining how they were singing. They were singing at the top of their lungs. Do you guys understand? that expression at the top of their lungs? At the top of their lungs? Yeah, the top of their lungs. I don't know. Do you understand that or no? No. 
No? At no. the, top, at the no. top of their lungs means like really, really loud, as loud as possible. Oh. Okay? okay. Yeah? It's like when you say in Spanish, estaban, uh, well, in Spanish you say, estaban cantando a todo pulmón. Okay. Yeah? And what that means is like, like they were doing it so loudly with all the, the their, their, their strength, right? So at the top of their lungs, singing at the top of their lungs, that part is a, a verb phrase. Does okay. that make sense? Okay, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Now, um, So what we're going to do is I'm going to get you guys um, to try right now um, to make some sentences with noun phrases. Uh, try to do um, about let's say two sentences, and you can you can start saying you can start with these ex examples here if you want. One thing, blah blah blah. The activity that blah blah blah. Okay, or things like that. Two sentences I want you to make in this moment. So I'm gonna give you about five minutes to do that. Any any questions you guys have? No. Everything is okay? Yes. Yes. Good. Only two sentences, right? Only two sentences, yeah. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Can I use, uh, for example, one thing that I enjoy instead of I, I like? Yeah, no, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, you don't have to start with this even. Like, if you don't want, you don't have to start with one thing. I was just giving you an example, right? OK. If you want to start with that, go ahead. OK. Right? But you don't have to. OK? Okay, teacher, thanks. All right, you're welcome.
Okay, are we, are we finished? Yes. Yes? Okay, I would like to hear you guys give me at least one sentence, okay? So I would like to hear, let's start with, well, Raphael, give me one sentence. Okay. Um, something that I like to do when I'm alone is solving math problems. Perfect. Yeah, very good, Raphael. Okay, tell me, give me one. The subjects that I pay more attention are English and programming. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, Maricela. Thank you. Um, one thing that I love about Saturday is wake up lately. Very good. Okay. Is waking up late. Late. Yes. Very okay. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Josue. One thing that I like to eat with my family is pizza on Saturday. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. All right, Luis. Who, Luis? Which, which one? Uh, <laughs> very good question. <laughs> um, okay, Luis uh, Mesa. Uh, okay, the activity that I like uh, to do at night is watching TV. Okay, perfect. Great. Perfect. Yes. Pamela. Something that I want to improve is my grammar. Hola. Hi, Pamela. Yes, we are, we're, we can listen. We, we hear you, yes. Uh, something that I want to like to improve in my English is my grammar. Great. Great. Excellent. Okay. Claudia. Something that I like me that I like to do when I'm alone in house is listen to music with high volume. Perfect. Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh, Luis Enrique. Okay. Uh, one thing I've been nervous about is breaking the ice at at party in the dance floors in the dance floor. Good, excellent, <laughs> very good. Okay, Diana. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, we can hear you. One thing that I love to do with my boyfriend is eating pupusas. Good, perfect. Samuel. Hi. Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something. Something I like to do uh, when I have free time is uh, watch watch a movie and and cooking. Okay. Good. Okay. So Samuel, something I like to do when I have free time is. Can you repeat? Watch it to. Yeah, is watching TV and cooking. Okay, okay. Right. In that case, it would would it be something or something like um or something? Yeah, something. Because some things, right? It would be plural, yeah. right? Because plural. we're talking yeah. about cooking and watching watching TV. You said right? Okay. So there are two things. Yeah. So could you try yeah, that again? Something that I like to do in my free time is uh, watching TV and cooking. Okay, good. But remember, the verb to be has to be, is related to the noun at the beginning. Okay? Oh, so, okay, okay. in the noun at the beginning is plural. 
So we can say some things is. Yeah, is are. Or... Uh huh. Good. So could you say that again? Something I like to do with my free time are watching TV and cooking. Perfect. There you go, Samuel. Excellent. Good. Exactly. So be careful there. Uh, make sure that the verb to be is together with the, su the subject, right? So it has to be the subject is, is singular, the verb to be has to be singular. If the subject is plural, the verb to be has to be plural. Okay, very good, Samuel, excellent. Okay, and Juan Manuel? Uh, one thing that I love to do when I'm alone in the house is watching the sunset, is watching the sunset. Mm, okay, yeah, me too, I like that too, very nice. Okay, excellent guys, you got it, very good. Okay, so now if you got, if you understand that, um, using noun phrases as objects should be even easier because all you gotta do with this one is this. So I'm going to write here. It's Teacher. actually, sorry, you had a question? Teacher. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. No. Go ahead, Rafael. Sorry. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I'm thinking about if 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 we can replace, for example, in these kind of uh, uh, sentences, if we can replace the verb in ing form uh, for uh, infinitive verb. For example, could I say something like one thing that I like about this weather is to sleep without a phone? Is it correct that? One thing that I like about this weather is to sleep without a fan. Uh, because, when, when, for example, when we use verbs uh, like a subject, we can do that, right? So I was wondering if we can if we can do the same with like an object. One thing that I like. One thing that I like. Hold on, just give me a second. I'll, try, I'll answer that question in a moment. Just give me one second to figure something out. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna find. I'm going to answer that question tomorrow. Okay. Because what I okay. Uh, in this case, the reason why we're using, um, for example, sleeping, is because sleeping in this case is not. It's not a It's not a verb. This is yeah. this is a, a gerund, and a yeah. gerund is a noun, right? So that's why it's okay. possible to be. Uh, that's why it's an object, right? So now yeah. the gerund is, is an object, and the case of an infinitive, also infinitives are nouns, so they can also be objects too. Um, yeah. Now the only thing I have to really I have to figure out is because I don't know in in the case of like it's okay to use both because with like, you can use a gerund or an infinitive. That's yeah. okay. You can say, it's easy to say, for example, I like to dance, then I like dancing. That's yeah, the, the same. same thing. But yeah. in the case of, I'm, I'm just wondering if, for example, if the verb was another verb, like for example, avoid or yeah. need that follows only a gerund or an infinitive, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if it would change the meaning in that case. So let me just make sure. I don't want to answer a yes or no until I'm completely sure. Okay. Um, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. So I'll, I'll try to answer that question tomorrow. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay. Um, okay. Well, anyways, uh, going back to this. Now, this is as a subject, right? The, the noun clause. Just to, sorry, the noun phrase, sorry. 
just to make sure that you guys understand what I'm talking about, that you do understand what is, which one is the noun phrase, because you might be a little bit confused what I'm talking about. The noun phrase is the one that has the, the subject and the relative clause, or the, or the noun or the, and the relative clause. So basically, this part here, that is the noun phrase. And the same thing here. All of this is the noun phrase. Okay, so that, that's, that's why we, it's a, as a subject because it's at the beginning. You notice the noun phrase, all of this is the noun phrase, and then we have the verb to be, okay? But here, we're gonna look at it as the, um, Okay. So now we're going to look at the noun, the noun phrase as an object. Okay. Um, and in this case, what we're gonna do is, like I said, if you understand this, this should be like a piece of cake because what this is is basically this, but inverted, okay? Yeah. That's what it is, it's this, but it inverted. So we end up with a subject. Let me check away the, the bold, the subject plus the verb to be. And then what we have here is a noun plus the relative clause. And that's our structure. So if you notice, you will notice in a moment that what really what this is is basically everything that is here, but inverted. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a moment. Okay, let's see what I'm talking about. Um, All right, um, so I'm going to take these two sentences and I'm going to say the exact same thing, but using this structure instead, okay? And you will see that it's super easy. So instead of saying one thing that I like about this weather is sleeping without a fan, I'm going to say it as an object and I'm gonna say, Sleeping without a fan is one thing that, let me put this in parentheses, that I like about this weather. So I've just done exactly the same sentence, just the opposite. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So here, the in this case, the um, in this case we started here with the object, right? The the object was uh, sleeping with a fan, but now here the object it becomes a subject, right? Okay, yeah. so the subject I'm going to show you here. So sleeping without a fan. Actually, I don't like this. So I'm gonna just do thick and change it over here. Okay, so sleeping without a fan. 
would be the subject. And then we have the verb to be. We'll change it to be. Here we have the yellow, the verb to be, in this case is is. And then we have the noun. The noun in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna change colors. Okay, so we have the noun here and then the noun in this case would be one thing. And then finally, I have my relative clause, right? We have here the relative clause that in this case is that I like about this weather. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Pretty simple, yes, huh? Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. You just, you yeah. just, you're basically just inverting it, okay? And I'll give you the other one, the other sentence as well, which is it inverted. Now, since you already seen how I inverted it, you can help me with the second one. What would the second answer be? Hiking and tricking. Hiking and tricking. Yes, hiking. And tricking. On weekend. And tricking. On weekends. Uh -huh. Are the are, activities? Are the activities? Are the activities that I like to do with my family. That I like to do with my family. That I like to do with my family. Sorry, guys. I think. See if I can put this one higher. Yeah, there you go. More or less, you can see the, the word family yeah. there. Okay. All right. There you go. Right. All right. So, again, uh, making sure you understand this, we have uh, the subject. What is the subject? Hiking and trekking. Mm -hmm. Hiking and trekking. Only hiking and trekking? Yes. Only hiking and trekking? On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Good. On weekends. Hiking and trekking on weekends. Good. What's the verb to be? R. 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 Good. Okay. Then we have, the, according to this, we have the noun. Which one is the noun? The activities. The activities. The activities. Good. Good. And then, then I have my relative clause. Which which one is my relative clause? That I like to do with my family. Good. That I like to do with my family. Okay. There you go. That's it. What do you guys think yes. about that? Easy, difficult, what do you guys think? Last? I think when we use as a subject, as an object is easier because <laughs> you <laughs> okay. only change it. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, but of course, but we can start with the, as an object too, right? I mean, I'm just showing you the other way around, but basically, um, like I could have started doing, giving you this sentence first, like, you know, out of fat, without a fan is one thing that I like about this weather, right? In fact, in, in Spanish, it's almost the same, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I think so, yeah. Because if you say something in this, uh, for example, in this, uh, follow the same, the first structure, Mm -hmm. uh, you can say it uh, follow the, the second structure that is something like logical, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's, a, it's the same also in Spanish. So yeah. here in this case, we use it as an object because the, oh, sorry, no. let's change the color. One thing I like about this weather would be here the known 
phrase. And the same thing here. So that's why it's used as an object because it's at the end. Here, these ones are at the beginning. That's why they're as a subject. Here, they're at the end. The noun, the noun phrase is at the end. Okay? So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's fine. Okay. All right. There you go. So that's it. So as you can see, it's really not that um, that difficult. It's actually quite um, quite the same. So um, before we go, how about if you change the two sentences that you wrote, change them using the noun phrases containing relative clause as an object. So the same sentences that you wrote for me a few minutes ago, change it so that you make it now as an object. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry because of all the colors. I hope I didn't make you dizzy with all the different colors. <laughs> I think I've told you this before. I just love colors. So I try to use them as much as possible. <laughs> no, that's okay. You try. <laughs> I just sometimes like, I mean, I'm a very visual learner. Uh, so I this, like colors for me help me to understand things a little better. So, um, if you're also a visual learner, I hope that, that this helps a little bit too. Teacher, for example, in that in that in that sentence, if I say to sleep without a fun, it's good, right? Sorry. In the sentences that you wrote as an object, uh huh. If you, if I say something like to sleep without a fun, that would be right, right? To sleep without a fan. Uh, one thing that I yes, yeah. technically speaking, yes. However, it's not very common to start a sentence with an uh, infinitive. Yes, I mean. It's very, I mean, okay. grammatically speaking, it's not incorrect, but it's very uncommon. It's like, we okay. almost never do that. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, the verb to be is always in present there. No. No. No, 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 not at all. Okay, uh, you could can, say, for uh, example, do... hiking and trekking on weekends was one of the activities that I used to do with my family when okay. we lived together. Yeah. So it's okay. You can put okay. the verb to be in, in any form. Just make sure oh, that okay. it agrees with Thank the, you. The, 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 the subject, right? It just, that's the important thing, that it agrees with it. If the subject is uh, um, singular, then the verb has to be singular, right? If the, ver if the subject is plural, then the, the verb be has to be plural. That's what's important, but it could yeah. be in any form. Well, that's where Okay. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, you guys finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So let's uh, start. I want to hear you guys. This the sentence you told me. I don't want to hear that sentence. I want to hear the other sentence now, but using the object, using it as an object. Okay. Okay. All right. So you 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 made two sentences. I want to hear the second sentence. Okay. So Raphael, start with okay. you. Okay, my sentence would be, solving my problems is something that I like to do when I'm alone. Perfect. Okay, Delmi. 
Sitting in the beach is one thing that I enjoy. Wonderful, yeah. Marcella. Maricela, teacher. Oh, sorry. What did oh, I say? Uh, okay. I'm oh, sorry, Maricela, yes. <laughs> Marcela. Uh -huh. um, there is there is there is some song is one thing that I like about dates like today. Can you repeat that again? There is a song or without songs, I don't know. The reason song is one thing that I like about dates like today. Tell me the very beginning. No. The, the, just the very beginning. There is a song. There is a song. Yes. Mm. No, we would need to use a subject. We have to start with a subject. Yeah, so we got it. We got to be careful with that one. Okay, so what, how about if you try to um, change it, uh, fix it there so that we have a subject and we'll continue with the other people and then we'll come back to you. Okay? Okay. All right. Josue? My example is playing video game is one thing that I like to do in my free time. Okay, very good, excellent. Pamela. Hello. Um, travel is something that I like to do. It's something that I like to do in vacation. Can you repeat that, Pamela? Um, travel is something that I like to do in vacation. Okay, good. Just make sure that you're changing it to gerund so that it's the subject. So it would be traveling, right? Not just travel, travel but traveling. Right. Yeah. Okay, great, Pamela. Thank you. Claudia. Mm. Listen to music with a high volume is something that I like to do when I'm alone in house. Good. Okay. Claudia, is it listen or listening? Listen. Yeah. Listening. Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. Luis Enrique. Okay. Surfing like an expert is an activity I'd be curious about. Wonderful. Yeah, very good. Okay, okay. Diana. Thank you. Wearing sweaters is one thing that I enjoy about this weather. Okay, good. Good. Juan Manuel. Learning new things is something I like to do every day. Beautiful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Maricela, were you able to change it there? I have problem, teacher. <laughs> okay, it's okay. How about if we do that? I change it, but I don't okay. know how to to say that. Okay, you know, I I, I would suggest doing yes, this. Yes, sorry. Hmm? Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead, tell me. Um, driving my car is one thing that I like about dates like today. Driving my car is something I like. Why? Sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, teacher, I, I only do the first. Uh... 
a okay. statement. It's okay then, Marisa. So, what we can do, Marisela, is do that for homework and then share it with us the class tomorrow. Sounds good? Yes, but I I like to to know how I say something like that. Oh, that's okay. But well, we will check it tomorrow. So you okay. can have a chance there to think about it and then you tell us tomorrow. Is that okay? Sure. Yes, it's okay. okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So that will be all, guys. Um, we With this information, you should uh, be at the middle of section five. So you have enough information there to complete that. And so that tomorrow, um, you, we will just finish off the last part of section five. Okay? All right, guys. So that will be all for okay. today. Thank you guys for sticking around. I know that we went a little bit over thank, the, the, the time. Thank you to you, teacher. But I, I, think, I think it was Good necessary. Night. Right? But so, all right, guys. So thank you and have yourself a wonderful night. Sleep tight. And uh, hopefully everything is okay during this night. Okay? So see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you, see you tomorrow. Okay. tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.